Good morning, Doug. Good morning. Good to see you again. It's been like almost a, like a week and a half since we got back from uh, Montana. Yep. So, and where we were able to find Tammy Goff, and it has been official that her um, two days ago she was officially ID'd. So the family now has that piece, and they're now able to move forward with the funeral plans on that one. So. Bob has been incredible keeping us updated on that one. But that's not why we're hanging out here this morning. We're hanging out here this morning because we just wanna have a good time. We have no real purpose today other than to get this boat dialed in. Not really get the boat dialed in, but to get Doug here dialed in on the boat because we have a lot of things to share with you guys. Yo, can I come? Yes, uh, let me put that out here right now. Yes, we are down at Mel Meldrum Park in Gladstone, Oregon, not too far from Oregon City, south of Portland. Uh, open invitation right now. We're doing nothing more than hanging out, teaching Doug some sonar stuff, so that way um, we have a, a search coming up later on this week for a missing um, form, mayor. Former, former mayor. mayor. Uh -huh. Former so mayor I'm waiting. of uh, Eugene or Cornelius? Cornelius. Cornelius. So I'm waiting for the family to get back a hold of me today to give me some additional information so that way we can begin an underwater search for him later on this week. And with that, it's all because of you guys that has allowed us to be out here with new equipment to do that. In fact, we're gonna talk about new equipment. So anyway, we appreciate each and every one of you. So whether you are just hanging out here with us online right now, or you have the ability to come down, come down, meet up with us right now. And if you do- We got goodies. We, oh, hold on, wait, let me turn this around. I forgot how to use the phone. It's on, it's on me. All right. Yeah, are you on me now? I'm on okay, you now. All right, so if you guys do come down, we do have some goodies, uh, some some uh, some pins, some stickers. We got some bracelets. Well, don't talk about it. You should probably oh, show yeah, show them. Now, show show, like, show just, them. Just so you guys know where we oh, are, okay. it's uh, Meldrum Bar Park. We're on the north side. There's two sections for everyone here that knows where this is at. We're here at the main boat ramp at for Meldrum Bar Park in Gladstone. And there and there could be some cars in here because I was watching the news last night and some cars have gone off in there. And anyway, show them the, some of the trinkets that we have. Um, so we're going to be teaching um, Doug today how to use the sonar equipment so that way I don't have to be the one in the driver's seat all the time because we picked up a used trailer because those of you that have been following along, those of you who have been following along and understand the troubles that we've had with the trailer, um, one of the our viewers who I thought was going to be incredible offered to build us a trailer at cost. So I sent him $6,000. Like, you know, in, in this conversation went on over, you know, a couple of uh, months. So I don't think that I just, you know, like throw out money willy-lilly because, you know, it's hard to come by. So anyway, so we handed out the $6,000 that's like, yeah, I'm ready. I got time for you. We can make it. Give him $6,000 and guess what? Some of you guys know the saga on that one. At the end of it, here we are almost three months later. I still, I still don't have a trailer. And I spoke with him a couple uh, last week says he, he's still going to keep his word, but he doesn't even have all the material in yet. What do you guys think? Am I getting a trailer? I don't think so. So the word does not leave us. It left us with a, well now we're scrambling to get another one because we need to make things more efficient. So we did a, uh, so we sold some lift bags, material, to help raise some funds, that we put some funds towards it. Um, and what this is, we went from a seven by 16 to an eight and a half by 12. So we went shorter, but we went wider. But the thing is, it gave us the same square footage. Am I giving you too much information? Do you guys like to hear this? I don't know. Leave a comment down below. Um, so what that does is it gives us the ability to actually put two boats in here. So we can put the, the boat on the bottom, the boat in the middle. This one just came out of And we have a lot more space in here. So let me show you everything that we got going on in here. So I was able to go wider on the motor mounts. So now we have um, two of the trolling motors in here. <clears throat> so we need to upgrade this this motor to this motor gives us more thrust those are the trolling motors we need to pick up one more six horsepower motor so that's on our list of things to do and then we've got our 1500 pound lift bags in here we've got our 3000 pound lift bags in here come on in doug move that around it's a little yeah. tight but yeah got it <laughs> we've got all of our chains along here so I put the tanks in here now, and then all of our sonar equipment, is it getting tight? And then all of our sonar equipment actually goes up here, 
that I had up here, but now it's outside. So let me show everybody that that got donated to us by Atlas North America. They deal with like submarines and missile and minesweeping and all that fun stuff. And they donated this. If you've seen Team Waters and the, here, we'll go back that way. Awesome Team Waters. Yes. So if you've seen the, the little rocket that Team Waters uses, and we've used it before on like the uh, helicopter. <clears throat> This is a nice little, I don't know, 30, 40, 50 thousand dollar unit that Marine Sonic HDS Atlas North America donated to us. Scott and I were out using and testing it yesterday. Incredible what it does. It's really going to open up our searches for us. So that way we can do uh, deeper searches, especially like up here in this river, it gets like, you know, 80 to 100 feet in some sections of this river. And you were telling me it's super accurate, right? Oh, so accurate. And the reason why it's accurate is because it has like a great big uh, tether. So you drop this down because your prime sonar readings is when you can be, you know, 15 to 20 feet off the bottom of the river. And so anytime we're in shallower water with this, it works great. But anytime we get over 40 feet, the readings are not as accurate, it becomes harder to read. And so because it has a tether that we can actually raise and lower this, that's what allows us to get down to, you know, the 10 to 10 to 20 foot range off the bottom of the river, regardless of how deep it is. Nice. Makes sense? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So thank you, HDS. Um, James is his name. He was, he's a viewer of our show. Some, um, he, in fact, I know he watches this stuff. So James, thank you, uh, because he reached out to us and he said, hey, I have a father-in-law that is over there at Atlas North America, let me have him help you guys out because you guys are doing good things in the world. So thank you for that. They say do good things and good things will, will happen. Awesome. Yeah, that's going to be very useful. Uh-oh, what do you got there? Oh, this is for anybody that comes down today. Look, I have like a little box of trinkets here. We've got a uh, what's your purpose band. We've got what's your... What's your purpose, bands? Okay, let me just lay some of this stuff out. I think we got some window punchers too, right? I'm sure that we do. Here, I'll, I'll lay it out here. So come on down. I'll give you some of this stuff. This is my, like, giveaway box. Oh, I got stickers too. In fact, the first the first three people that show up too, I have some uh, t-shirts also. What? So the first three people that show up, I'll give you a t-shirt. So hurry up and get down here. Come hang out with us. Uh, we have what's your adventure? Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry, adventure with purpose stickers. Adventures with purpose stickers. These are right now are my favorite. Like search team. Love those search team ones. In fact, speaking of search team, we have brand new hats that just arrived yesterday. I was out of town with Scott. Anyway, we have brand new search team hats, and so we'll share those online tomorrow. The new hats are gonna drop search team hats <laughs> come in two colors uh adventure with purpose little mask more stickers anyways what i'm saying is i got stickers look i even have dan dan the cameraman yeah those are collector items and i have sam uh, stickers all of them great stick on your car window punchers come on down I'll window you. punchers you window puncher that's a necessity look i've got a sam hat. sam sam sam's not here today sam's playing with his girlfriend Hey, Sam. <laughs> hey, Nay. Uh, more pins. Look, yeah, just come down. Pick something out. Anyway, I want you guys to have fun with this. Um, the other thing before... Oh, hold on. So, if you missed what he just said, the first three people that come get a t-shirt. A t-shirt. And, and we're at Meldrum Bar Park, Gladstone, Oregon. For those of you in the Portland area, most of you people know exactly where this is. So, uh, looking forward to meeting you guys. Come out, check it out. Yes. Now, here's what I want to also uh, do, uh, put out in the world. Jennifer Joseph, thank you very much for your donation today. You know, you're all amazing. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Jennifer, it's because of not just the viewers that are watching, but, you know, from supporters like you that also um, put forth additional finances for us. Uh, same thing with Lynn Harris. Thank you very much. Hello from Southern Florida. Um, with this, I would kind of like to turn this into a membership drive as well, if you guys don't mind, because it's the members like um, Ov, Ov Nokus, who just became part of the team, that allows us to 
budget better for us to get out here to buy new gear to get out on the road to help the people like you know we're going to go help out the family of ralph browning this week up here in the pacific northwest who is a former mayor with dementia who been missing for what he, almost two he's weeks been missing off this, hello james showed up but J james is a uh yes yeah <laughs> James is an incredible supporter. He's been with us since we found uh, car number one. Um, so with that one, you know, because you guys do become members and you guys do put forth a financial effort because you guys um, are there to allow us to help budget for this, to, you know, put stuff in the trailer, to get a new motor, to, we'll talk about, you know, we need some new wheels and tires as well because those ones are completely shot and the trailer's old. Um, we could not be doing this without you and your support so we refer to this as you know this really is a movement where we are all involved you know we're out here we are boots on the ground but you guys are the open source investigations that give us those tips as to you know hey we have a missing lost loved one that's in a vehicle can you put this on your map and can you guys make it work out um, but then we also have the organization that is not and, and i don't refer to this as the organization but the awp movement to where other divers and just other people with boats and sonar across the entire US and magnet fishing are seeing this and getting involved and looking for. As an example, just uh, yesterday, two days ago in Florida, yeah. yes, a drone pilot had his drone up in the air looking in bodies of water and guess what? He found a car with a missing person from 2009. Yeah, almost, almost 10, 11 years yeah. and the person's been missing. Yeah. And, 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 and so this is a movement, and this shot is for Tatum. First viewer, first two people yeah. get a t-shirt. All right, what size are you guys? You guys want a uh, small or a large or, do you know, a couple's shirt maybe? Um, <laughs> <laughs> Even the ducks. Okay. Oh, there oh, see, go. Yeah, see, that's how we have to do it. Sorry about that. Um, don't call me right now. Uh, <laughs> Uh, anyway, so it, like I said, this is a complete movement that's happening across the U.S. that more and more people are becoming aware of it because you guys are watching, you guys are sharing, and you guys are becoming a part of it. And you, and by becoming a part of it, like you guys with drones, you guys with boats, you guys with magnets. And with all of it, it's incredible watching the entire movement and everything that's taking place. So thank you for that. Um, now they say, um, they say, they say, we say, everybody says, the, I just want to make our needs known. We need additional help with what we're doing as we're gearing up for the next big trip, not just with helping Ralph this week, but really the next big, big trip. You know, we just purchased here. I'll have you run this one. So we just picked this trailer up. Uh, nice and so it's not, not thing. But uh, we got Anton over there at Drive Unlimited. We've been struggling with this as to do we go incognito like we have been or do we go with more of a law enforcement look so that way law enforcement doesn't harass us as much as we've been harassed in the, in the previous. So with that one, we're going to actually go with a wrap on this one. So if you are a wrap company and you would like to donate your time and your services and help us out, that would be incredible. We would love to do that. We've got Antoine over there at Drive Unlimited that's going to be doing our lighting for us. But some of our additional needs, like this is a immediate need that we're working on. This, is this trailer that we just picked up. I went across the scales last night. We have 6,800 pounds in the trailer. The tires are the cheapest tires that you can get. They're rated for 1,600 pounds. So 16 times four is 6,400. So we're over capacity. So we need to raise some money for some new wheels and tires to put on this one. So that way we can just go with like the, the entire look. So with that, that's what your memberships are for. That's what your donations, you know, go, go towards. We really appreciate you on that one. Here's the other thing that we are looking for if you guys can help us out. Um, if you happen to have a 31, 32 foot RV um, that has bunks in it, we're looking for that. Or if you happen to have a connection with Gander uh, RV or Camping World, we're putting this out there. Let's see if we can work out a sponsorship with them or something to help us get into a newer RV so that way we can uh, accommodate an extra person in there. Right now, when we put three people in there, it's perfect. If we put a fourth in there, it's not. And we'd love to put a wash and dryer unit in there, charging station, and just really make our job more efficient. You know, in the same way that you know we've upgraded the trailer now, this is the fourth time we've upgraded the trailer, to become more efficient so that way we can do more cases uh, on the 
road. The RV right now, like, I mean, of course it's got the hole in there, but you know, that, that's like the least of our worries. Right now, you know, we've got the dry rot that's happening and the whole thing's just like falling apart. Sam up here, I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. Don't tell, don't tell Sam this, but I'm surprised that Sam has not fallen out of the RV yet. Come check this out. I actually had to reinforce um, up there. You can see, like, I put a nice big uh, board up there to reinforce it. But this whole thing was all dry rotted, and you can actually see it, it's actually falling down. So when Sam is up there, you know, it bounces. It bounces and everything. Yeah. And like while we're going down the road, I'm yeah. not let anybody go up there because I can only imagine yeah. as like one day this thing's just gonna drop down, go on the windshield, and if somebody was up there, they're yeah. just ah, they're like holding on like right here as we're going down like, you know, like 85 miles an hour. <laughs> um, but yeah, same same thing. You know, we've got dry rot everywhere, so it's it's, fall, it's falling apart. But you know, it's what we've had to work with, and. It just, it just all comes down to appreciation for all of you guys because as we started, many of you guys know the story, when we started, we couldn't even, we didn't even have a tank of air. We had to bump air off of our local dive shop. Thank you, Sarah, over there at Central Oregon Diving for helping us out. Um, on that note, do we want to hang out some more? Yeah, more? yeah, let's do a little bit more hanging out. Thank, thanks, oh, KD thank Video Productions for the donation. <clears throat> So he's still trying to clear up the rest of the audio from the Colton Molly place. I guess, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. One of the crew. Uh huh. Here I have um. Oh. Taming the Lils. Thanks for the being an air sponsor. And, and I I'd show you more of James, but James doesn't like to be on camera. He's always behind. I got something special for you though. I brought you some stickers. In fact, I also brought you some patches that the patches have not made online yet. So I'm going to... Exclusivity. Let, yes. I'll see if I get them on a little bit later this week. So here, uh, show, show some more of that. Let me go grab those real quick. These are cool. Window punchers. Everybody needs one of these in their car. You, you, it's just sort of one of those things that... Uh, it, it, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Uh, this is critical for any survival situation in the water. As you guys know, uh, being in a car underwater is virtually almost impossible to get out of without breaking the window. Breaking windows are insanely hard to do and that will definitely help you out as far as surviving in a car underwater. Um, memberships. So let me, let's, so like I said, you know, I kind of want to make this a membership drive because that's how we're able to balance our budgets as we're out and about uh, to be able to decide what trips and what who, who we can go help because as you guys know, we don't charge the families anything for us to go out and help them. Um, with a membership, what does that get you? That gets you uh, early access to videos. That's pretty much our only way of saying thank you and giving back. We also have the adventurewithpurpose.com website which is you know the merchandise so that way we can um you know help fund this so that way with that one we can give back as you're helping us as well so thank you for all that to become a member there's a link in the description down below or the join button is how you become a member uh, different membership levels and really they're they're really all the same it's just a matter of you know what you can get from the heart so i've got stickers for James, who doesn't want to be on camera here. James, why don't you like stand right here behind the camera so that way I'm like talking to everybody here and yeah. I'm talking to you and I can be like handing these off. But I, I gotta show. And mods, please feel free to drop any links in the description below it just, just in case people can't find the links. So this is oh, oh, oh. brand new. Thanks, fact, Ron Anderson. So I'll add. Ron, thank tire, you very much. I'll add to the tire fun, especially since that's an epic beard. Oh, thanks, Ron. Appreciate it, man. Uh, thanks, Julia. Uh, it, it really helps. Like this stuff that's happening, uh, what what AWP is able to do for families is 100% um, due to you viewers. And you know, I, I also know that not everybody can donate. Uh, just simply watching and sharing, subscribing, clicking the like button, all of that goes to the cause. 
And as you guys know, it's an amazing cause. Um, so brand new patches. James, okay, like the, these are embroidered patches. We also have woven patches, okay, and they are iron on. So you can iron them on or you can sew them on if you have those skills, all right? So those are for you. Thank you. Uh huh. But that's not all. So this is so this is a woven patch, and the woven has a little bit more detail than the embroidered. So that one actually has adventure that is purpose the on there. AWP boat. Uh huh. So that's for you. Very nice. Thank you. Uh huh. That's uh, that's the embroidered one. Now the embroidered one, you know, you can't get as much detail, so there's no logo on there. But that one's for you as well. Thank you. This whole stack is for you, by the way. I'm really? just I'm just showing everybody one at, one at a time. Okay. Adventure of the purpose embroidered patch. Iron on. That's my favorite. Uh huh. Thank you. you got, oh, oh, I dropped uh, something there. The search team one, which by the way, we're going to have some search team hats that's going to have raised 3D embroidery that Kristen picked those up from the uh, store yesterday, from the UPS store. They've been shipped. So we have those. Um, we have the, the new sticker. That's not even on the website yet. We also have the iconic uh -huh, across the US. Uh huh. The RV and in fact, here's here's the thing. When I put these online like next week, know that when you purchase one of these, it's going towards the new RV fund. So thank you for that. I love um, that sticker. I know, yeah, I like it too. Uh, thank you, uh, Wes Wesley upgraded to a gear sponsor. Wesley, we met in uh, Pennsylvania um, and with his boys. So thank you for that, Wesley. Look, this is this is this is my new favorite sticker right now. This is not even on the website yet, but it will be on later on this week. Uh huh. Lift bags. Yeah, official okay. purpose lift bags. That's nice. Uh -huh. I think we have our first viewer here too. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, yeah. We'll get to you in a minute. Yeah. yeah. In fact, you can come over and hang out. Yeah. Uh, we have the adventure of the purpose. Who can? Who knows what car that is? James knows what car. Uh huh. So tell me to leave a comment down below. What car is that? The epic. I feel like this is kind of the car that really started, started the, it, it, hey, there, yeah. yes. And the reason for it, as soon as somebody says it, I'll, I'll, t I'll tell you why as soon as, as soon as, so, yep. oh, there it is, John, John Davis, guy. John Davis. <laughs> because I say it's a Jaguar, okay? People are like, it's not, a, the, the UK people are saying, it's not a Jaguar, there's, there's no Jaguar. Why. It's a Jaguar. <laughs> Jaguar. Yeah. Um, who knows that one? That one is the... All right, you guys guess which one that one is, all right? Uh, they've got the new boat sticker. Oh, and I have a new, new boat sticker too, James. Check out this brand new, new, new boat sticker. Uh-huh, that one's got the sonar and the motor and everything on there. Uh-huh. Uh, no, it was not the $7,000 boat. It was the $85,000 boat. Maybe, maybe they meant to put 70. It could be. Yeah. Uh, New, uh, the, oh yeah, these stickers are online. I think you guys have seen most of those stickers already. Oh, and look, we have these new What's Your Purpose stickers as well. And in addition to that, we have uh, What's Your Adventure um, shirts are being made. So right now we have the What's Your Purpose shirts. These, one, these ones are conversation starters. So here's, oh, yeah. so here's my advice to you, okay? If you are an introvert and you do not like people talking to you, do not get yourself one of these shirts and wear it into public, okay? Because it's a conversation starter. People are like, well, what's your purpose? And then you can like immediately say, well, my purpose is to travel across the US, you know, with some good friends of mine, meeting up with new people along the way and helping families find their lost loved ones. And it's all because of you guys and your support. So thanks, anyway. friend, for your donation. Yes. All right, so anyway, with that, we also have What's Your Adventure shirts that are uh, being made. We also have Later Later Bye Bye shirts that are being made because uh, that's uh, kind of the scene you're out here. Sir! How you doing? Good, come on over. You're okay being on camera, right? Uh, sir. All right, so that's good. All right, so we have our first viewer here. Go ahead and introduce doing? yourself. Uh, my name's Damon. I'm from uh, Milwaukee. David, David from Milwaukee, right down the road, pretty yeah. much the same neighborhood that we're in. Yeah, I have actually been following you guys for a long time, so yeah, cool. watched all the cool. videos. Uh, just woke up, turned on YouTube, and I was like, damn, they're at Meldrum, I'm going down there. Yeah, right, awesome. thanks for yeah. coming out, man. Well, you guys Appreciate shout it. Okay, I'm going to go grab oh, a uh, shirt yeah. real quick. What size shirt? Uh, like 4X. 4X, okay, all right. Oh, cool. Hey, look, grab some of this too. We got some window breakers. We have stickers. 
Awesome, man. Uh, some braces. Here, I have a few on the wall myself. I think they're cool. Awesome. As he said, they're great conversation starters, man. Uh, what's your purpose is definitely uh, a heck of a statement here. Uh-oh. I think we have another viewer. Have more. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Great. It's going great. And yourself? Awesome. So glad he's over here today. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Do you mind being on camera? Not if you want to suck the mug on it. Look, look, you are beautiful. It's, I, just, I, I asked for it. You know. Yeah. All right, so we have the second viewer here. So we have one more. The third one that gets here, we'll get a t-shirt as well. Yeah. How are and your you? name? Carrie. You. Carrie. Carrie. Carrie is here, and you're from? Originally Westland, but West. live in Milwaukee. Okay, all Western right. Two too. Milwaukee it's people so here today. In the all right. Thanks for your support. Oh. Most definitely. Yeah, so we're gonna teach uh, Doug some sonar today. Oh, um, nice. Because, as you can see, we now have a second boat that's in here. Yeah, that's awesome. Look that's how beautiful cool. it is, guys. And, oh, and speaking of the second boat that's in there as well. The second boat, right, right there. Yeah. So, and speaking speaking of the second boat that's in here as well, the other thing, we have a link in it, but we have an Amazon wish list as well because on that one we also have a request for additional sonar. We really need to outfit this boat. Wow with sonar as well. So we're, we need like an additional like $10,000 for that one. It's like almost 11 is what it is. So again, that's what all these funds go for. You know, ships, your donations, he likes your views, everything, so. And having the extra boat with extra sonar is going to drastically improve. Allow us to be more efficient so that way we can run two boats at the same time as we're doing the searches, especially in these larger areas. Yeah. Okay. Um, Thank you, Lake sure Jake Moore. And yes, we do ship to the UK. Uh, Sam's in Seattle. He's got some stuff to do with the girlfriend today. Uh, thanks for the donation, Random05. He says, love what y'all do. You provide much needed help. Hold on. You provide much needed help. I pray that I never need your help, but I thank God that you're there. Thank you guys so much for your donations. Come on down. We are at the Meldrum Bar Park on the north side of the park. There's two sections to this park, just south of Portland, Oregon, probably five minutes down the road. We have some t-shirts here coming out. He wants to go to a Blazer game on Saturday. So he's going to the Blazer game. It's beautiful out today. Not rainy, hardly a cloud in sight supposed to be almost 80 degrees today so it's gonna be great we're gonna be running some sonar uh, we're gonna be shooting a video to show how we run sonar uh, I'm gonna be taught a little bit more you guys are gonna be taught a lot more it's gonna be great Tracy Ocean Fire says, uh, proud of how far you guys have come, helping more families find loved ones. Thank you so much for your donation. That one and then one up in Washington. The boy died down. Uh, that one was, that's a tough one. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that was a tough one. Yeah. Have so you pretty much turned into just recovery now? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. In fact, uh, so the question was, has this pretty much just turned into recovery? And I will say that yes, for the most part. And you know, in fact, kind of give me your input, your your feedback on this one, uh, you guys as well. Is that I feel like if we just go out and play, I feel like we're kind of like judged, like, hey, you guys should be out there helping more people. But I also feel like you get he's you're, you're shaking his head, like, yeah, yeah, you need to be helping everybody. Um, yeah. But you know, with that also is. I appreciate you guys also understanding that we do need our diet, our, our downtime. Like it becomes, you know, you might, in fact, I want to talk to you about your, this Tammy one really was your first all in. I mean, you have, you were on bill as well, but I feel like Tammy was a little bit different to where it wasn't a, yeah. you weren't, you know, flying home. You, Tammy you was a bit different. Tammy was a bit different. Um, uh, the, the, the search for Tammy was, was a, a week-long, grueling affair, uh, emotionally up and down. Uh, we ended it on Friday, um, and it, it probably took me upwards, probably up the next Wednesday, following Wednesday to Thursday, to even feel.
feel like I mentally and emotionally recovered from it. Um, you know, but it, it's it's a great thing to be able to help somebody. It just it, it does take a toll mentally. You know, it's uh, it's it's not easy. You know, but um, it's 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 a blessing to be able to do it, and it's because of you guys. None of this would be possible without you guys. Um, and without that, I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, that's it's just kind of hard to say, kind of hard to describe. Yeah. You know? And, and so with that, you know, I, I want to, you know, you said that you've been a sponsor for, you know, for a year now, right. you know, and kind of, like kind of bring us into how did you first find this? What made you decide to become a member as well? And, you know, what have you really appreciated and what have you, and just give it to me straight. Also, like, Jared, you've done this and it's really pissed me off or you shouldn't be doing <laughs> this. I mean, I, I want to hear it all. No, I think the thing that everybody needs to realize is what you have in the trailer and the motorhome and everything that's expensive traveling fuel and it's just going to get worse so for us people that can help you each month that's what we can that's all i can do i can't go with you and, and help like i would love to do yeah but i think your ability to go across the united states and help folks is amazing because there's not very many people who have the capability of doing that they're not able to leave their homes and their families to go do that um, for you to be pulling out cars especially here in Oregon you know Oregonians are supposed to love their environment that's huge you've got you've pulled out a lot of cars um, and and there's been some surprises in those cars when all you've done is just oh we're just gonna pull a car out today and yep. boom, there's a body in it yep. and I think that's kind of what started it you know, as you started finding these people and you're like, oh, wow, you know, I don't know if I'm wrong, but so you've, you've stepped up your game. And I think more people across the United States and even the world who watch your, your videos are like, dang, these guys are actually helping, you know. The emotion that you guys bring, like when you did the video, was it for Tammy that you're all sitting at the table? And you're in tears, he's in tears, Sam's in tears, you know. <laughs> easy to do this your heart is on the line you know you get invested in these families and that right there is what I think most of us appreciate what you're all doing yeah so for the people who naysay you and who get snippy because I read the comments about donations and stuff or asking for help are they able to do what you do yeah. so we appreciate what you're doing right and we appreciate you well, you know, so I just think it's amazing what you do. I'm so glad you're you're here in my hood. <laughs> I'm like in my jammies. I'm like getting dressed, going out the door. <laughs> so, so, so with this also, you know, and, and I want to answer, you know, address this is is that we're seeing a lot more cars, but to be honest with everybody, we're pulling less cars mm -hmm. because we are focusing on where can we go to help. Right. And right. so I want people to not control us and be upset about right. that either. Right. Like, we're probably gonna go find some cars here today. We know that there's cars. We know that right now. We know that there's 25 cars in Portland right now. Oh, geez. But instead of going to pull those out this week, you know about Ralph Brown. He's missing. So mm -hmm. we're gonna be looking for Ralph Brown. Right. You know, later on this week, you know, we're waiting for his family to call us a little bit later on today to gather more information so we can kind of start to pinpoint because you know, he's from Cornelius, mm -hmm. but he was seen in you know potential sightings in Newburgh, Newburgh and oh, wow. in McMinnville with cell phone pings. Right. Rumor of Malala, which you know, you know how far that is. So, right. I mean, our search area in the, you know, the Willamette and stuff. I mean, yeah. Where do we begin to start right. looking? For me right now, it's just only based upon what I know. Newburgh, McMinnville, Malala. Uh, not, the, not Malala right now. No, because doesn't the Willamette cross and go over there and then come up? Yeah, but that's a long ways from Cornelius and um, Newburgh. Yeah. So I, I'd yeah. really love to check out the river over there. You know, Dundee area has some boat ramps and. You know, and not every family wants to acknowledge that hey, we have a lost loved one that might be in the room right, as well. Like, right. you know, nobody wants to think about how if he's not found alive, that he can you know, be right. so, And to have such a broad area to search, just like for Brandy, there are so many lakes and ponds and stuff over there that and you, and all the little pings that you you posted. Yeah. It's like that's a lot. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's like, how do you choose? Where do you have to go? Yeah. So, yeah, it's, 
it's amazing what y'all do and we appreciate it thank very, you very much. thank you thanks to the wife and family for letting you go yes they, thank you <laughs> to my wife yes yes the ups store called yesterday and they said jared you have 20 boxes of packs that just showed up and i'm like i'm out of town they're like can you call your wife and i'm like oh she does so many amazing things for me so thank you to my wife and my daughters as well so yeah you know this really is a everybody is involved with this yeah well good if you have pets i might have to yeah. get online and I went, yeah. I'm a hat person. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's new 13 hat. So it's new 13, uh, race reporter. You know, and James back here that doesn't like being on camera. You know, he was there when we found our first car. Yeah. You know, and, he, and he's a mechanic and he's worked on our trailers before to help us out so that we have new brakes and new axles. And, you know, that's where the, you know, the funds go towards the materials. And then you know, we end up with, like, some free labor to get things taken care of. So we appreciate everybody's involvement. Thank you to all the sponsors that provide equipment to you yeah and yeah. your toy i saw you know that's anything helps oh, oh yeah, yeah anything yeah. helps you guys do what you need to do and the more technology you have i used to work at fleer and you know this the do you still have connections because we... i don't i don't <laughs> in fact they just sold the teledyne oh, okay so unfortunately no yeah because, yeah because there's no way we would have first put money towards you know a forty or fifty thousand dollar right. unit because our next need is what can we do to become more efficient? You know, right. that's why we upgrade the trailer, that's why we yep. you know we'd love to upgrade the RV as well. So. Yeah, yeah. So Look, we, we have more people showing up as well. Awesome. So let's introduce them. Thank you for your Oh wait, 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 before I would do that, and you guys can tell me as well because I love criticism. Sometimes I'm a little snippy. But uh my wife says you don't feel well if people don't agree with you all the time. I think we're all like that. So tell me real quick, Jared you need to change this one thing that you do i don't think there's a single thing you should change oh, i, I really think like no seriously <laughs> i mean i read the snarky remarks that you put out there yeah. and i read other people's remarks and it's like if they don't like what you're doing like you say buzz off you know go to a different channel but i don't think there's really anything that you need to do differently than what you're already doing because how are you supposed to reach the goal that you want to reach if you're not out there asking for help and same with people who have lost ones. How are you supposed to find those answers that you're looking for if you don't reach out to somebody who's able to do what you're doing? So the more people that, that can see see you, the more you're able to go out there. And, and that's why we really appreciate the families that allow us to mm -hmm. film, you know, what it is that we right. film. I mean, it's a very emotional time for them. And I, and I know that some of them are watching us right now. You know, and thank you for allowing us to share your stories because of you allowing us to share your story. Other people that needed our help saw those stories and now they were now aware of what we're capable of. Right. You know, and as this thing goes, in fact, you know, Brock the Rock just sold his house. In fact, he closed on it yesterday because they're going on the road as a family. So they oh, can wow. start diving other locations and start working cold cases. Right. So, I mean, it's just incredible to, you know, have this. Yeah, place. it's fun to watch, like, when you and Brent and Doug are together, you guys are just having a good time. And that's, that is probably like your downtime. Yeah. You know, when you're out there just playing and finding all kinds of crazy things. And, you know, it's fun to watch all you guys get together and everybody's becoming a diving family. Yeah. You know, you're all getting together and just do what you love to do and helping people. So. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. you're welcome. Let's meet some more people. Like I, now, I remember I said the first three people that came down, but I've got more shirts. Come on in. Oh, yeah. Here, why don't you chit chat with them? How you guys doing? I'm good. So my sister got me this hoodie, and look what happened. Oh. You know, I want to apologize to anybody that got a Teespring one, okay? Because Teespring, I'm just gonna say, okay. <laughs> They were overpriced. They like we hardly got like any cents from them, and it was just like crappy stuff. So that's why we upgraded to this. And because your sister got that for you and you brought that down, I'm going to give you a brand new hoodie today. Awesome! Yes, you I'm, met my son a while back. His name was Willard. Willard. Yeah. I meet a lot of people, so I apologize <laughs> if I don't remember Willard. It's all right. Yeah, it looks like one. me, but with uh, kind of curly hair. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for coming. So down. awesome! I've been watching you since you started. Well, thank you. What size yeah. is that? It's a two X. I think I have one of those. So, um, you chat with yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Grab, grab Where are you guys from? Portland. Portland. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you for coming down. Here in Oregon. On 82nd. Okay. All right. You guys just saw the live feed coming on down. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gra grab, a, grab a sticker, a bracelet. Uh, okay, yeah. Window puncher. You can't leave without a window puncher. A window puncher? Yeah, window puncher. Right here. Great keychain, accessory. I really appreciate Thank you. Thank you, Lynn Harris, for your donation. Yeah, yeah, sure. Go right ahead. Thank you, Lynn, for your donation. Uh, what do we have here? Al Lovelace, thank you for your membership. Let's see if we can get some of these comments in here. If you guys have any questions, yeah, go ahead and ask them. Are you them. diving today? Or um, today, we're not going to be diving. Today, we're going to be some doing some training here on the sonar okay. out here on the Willamette River. Um, so we're going to be working on improving accuracy with the uh, sonar and sort of making me an expert with it that's the plan <laughs> yeah that's the plan you guys have done a really major movement and i'm i couldn't ask for better people yeah, yeah I, I mean it's, this is all through oh, your support upset. you know i was upset um, when you go over um uh, the i-5 when the guy went over yeah, the bridge yeah oh antonio the cops made me so upset uh, about that i'm like why don't you just let him mark it so you can get it done and over with you know yeah. quit prolonging it for the family yeah, yeah. you know it, it's it, 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 it's it's all a learning experience too I, I think the more that we do this the more the agencies understand the importance uh, of allowing us to help yeah um so you know i mean Ooh, thank you and i don't ever want to say anything That's negative awesome. about you know anybody That's, uh, so that situation was was rough it was yeah, it, it was. was but you know they're, they're all learning experiences yeah you know? they're... And we, we actually ended up getting a really good friendship with the river patrol i'm sure if we ever have to deal with the river patrol here in portland again yeah. they're going to be they're so be abrasive yeah. <laughs> yeah. you know it's, it's it's all growing yeah know? i'm glad you guys are the ones teaching them and you guys know what they're doing and that's what they need yeah. they need training and something to stop the correct way right right and I really appreciate you guys giving family exposure and because I have two missing nieces. They've been oh. missing since 2001. Oh. And so yeah, when you guys find them in the rivers and stuff, and they've been missing for a long time, it's, it's, it's really touching because yeah. not many people are willing to go out and do that. Yeah. So I really Sorry to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> it does, it does. It, it, it's got a mind you know power. i'm just gonna be straight with you if you didn't have the beard i probably would never invite you to come along with us oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> just just kidding he, this, this oh, guy you started a windstorm now this guy has an incredible heart and great family man great husband great father i've seen him you know in all different aspects of his life so thanks thanks Doug. man yeah, it's not just the beard that attracts us to one another. So. I know what it is. It's all right. <laughs> Thank you for the viewers love it. Yeah. Um, so one person um, asked if that we need to put together an instructional instructional video on how to use the window punchers. Um, we are going to. We're actually going to be doing a video at a junkyard to begin with and then we're going to do one where we actually sink a car I, I keep saying that we just haven't had time to get to it but the way that this works is you push this part against the window do not put your finger on here yeah, because it's spring that. loaded and that little bar will come out and it will jab you so but i'll, I'll just kind of like represent like if it goes in okay so look oh you you did your finger oh come on over so <laughs> So that little come on over. So, so that Step little, on up. Yeah. So that little thing will come out and and it punctures your window, and that's what breaks the tempered glass. So do not. So tell it. To, yeah. So tell us your story of. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> I thought you were supposed to push on this end, and this other end comes out, um, but apparently it doesn't. So um, it leaves a really nice bruise on your thumb there. How many of you have done that yourselves, and you bled because of it? And I apologize if you bled because of that. Uh, do get yourself a window puncher though because it could potentially save your life and it's not just for underwater um you know several um emergency response you know people carry these on their keychains all the time too because they are first on scene and say you know they need to knock a window out 
That's what they use. It's just Where's a little window push like that. that in your car? On your keychain. On your keychain. On your keychain is it? Car that's a push button. Oh, you know what? Your keys are in your purse. Actually, though. I have no idea. Because, you know, that's uh, on a rear view mirror ornament or. Okay. The, the, I don't know. The, 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 reason, the reason why we don't promote the hammers, the, you know, the one, like the actual car hammers, is because people will put those in their glove box and in emergency, you're not gonna be able to get to it. So yeah. that's why we went with the keychain ones and we actually tested out, you know, half a dozen plus different styles. And this one was the most efficient that was uh, consistent in working. So that's why we went with this Isn't one. It will shadow the window instantly? Yes, oh yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. now with that one, it has to, the, the, the corner. So that's a good question. What's the best window or what's the best area of the window yeah. is in the corner. Um, at the window. So don't go in the middle, but choose any corner is the best thing for that. I'm not sure. No, I no, I think that's metal. Yeah, yeah. This. Pretty much, this. yes, sir. Well, you have a channel of his own, and, does, and he doesn't promote it. So no, we want to promote it, but I mean, obviously, the focus is with you guys. What you guys do, I know everything's done. What he's done, uh-huh. amazing. What we came up with was uh, DSKFS, so do something kind for someone. Oh, I like that. So made some patches, some stickers. Kind of goes with the channel itself, which is Zach stuff. Uh huh. So, anyways, so Zach stuff. We're gonna bring some stuff down. So Zach stuff is. So it's, it's my YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, focus on a lot of like everyday caring gear, those kind of things. Awesome. So, yeah. You guys want to check it out? It's amazing. But yes, did you check that out? Did you do something kind for someone? Do something kind for someone. And it's Zach Stuff's is the channel. Correct. If one of the mods can look that, that channel up, Zach Stuff, and drop it in the uh, uh, live chat here, that'd be great. And in the comments afterwards. I, I like that. That's like a uh, rubber patch, isn't it? Yeah, a little PVC patch. Just and that just is a daily reminder. Yeah. Do, Do something, something kind. kind for someone. That's yeah. awesome. I like that. I'm gonna yeah. put that on. It's positive. Sure you guys have them. Yeah. Awesome. Hey, appreciate your uh, support. Thank you guys. Yeah. You hanging yeah. out for a bye? Definitely. For a Definitely. We'll say hi to uh, one more. We'll grab him a shirt, and then uh, I think we'll kind of cut the stream at that point. And again, thanks everybody for uh, hanging out. Um, morning, sir. Morning. Good. Right. Right. Yeah. Thanks, Al. Uh, large is fine, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll be a large. Dan, or not Dan. Um, yeah. Got a minute. Let me grab a shirt. How you doing, man? Where are you from? Uh, I'm here from Portland. Portland, Oregon. Thanks for coming down, man. Yeah, absolutely. I appreciate it. It's uh, nice to finally meet you guys. I watched you for a while now and love your guys' stuff. So, cool. Thought I'd cool. come down and show some support. Yeah, it's always nice to meet you guys. Thank you for your support, man. Absolutely. It's, it's, uh, this is what it's all about. You, you are the reason that we're able to help families man and that's an understatement uh it's not about whether you donate or not it's just being a supporter uh, liking sharing subscribing all of that matters um this is not funded from government or any other way like this whole movement is strictly from viewers and that and that's powerful yeah that's yeah. that's that's huge you know what i mean yeah and you guys purpose is so great so i mean anything i can do really Thank you, man. Yeah. Oh, here's your T-shirt. Sweet. Now, I didn't have uh, the what's your purpose in other sizes, but today I do have large. So you get to choose a WP shirt or a what's your purpose in red or what's oh. your purpose in black. That's a tough decision. That red is fancy. That oh, red there is. There you go. I got to take that one. Thank you very much. Absolutely. Thanks for your support. Thanks oh, yeah. for coming out. Absolutely. Thank yeah. you. Absolutely. You're welcome to hang out a little bit. I think on that note, though. Oh. I think we have some uh, oh, new we, members. Oh, let's say thank you to all these members. Yeah. So, uh, Lynn, I said, I said thank you to Lynn. Uh, Joe, Joe Redden. Thanks for becoming a part of the team. He is a new member with that one. Um, it helps us balance our books so that way we know how we can better spend our money and we're out here helping, you know, helping families. And Scratch and, well and Sense. Scratch and Sense. Thank you also for becoming a part of the team. So if you want to become a member, our only way of really saying thank you for that, for you putting forth a monthly subscription to help us uh, with that one is to give you videos early. Right now, this morning, we just put out the Brian William McKenzie video early. Uh, you'll also re- be uh, getting the 
Tammy Goff videos early. In fact, every video we put out, you'll be getting those early before everybody else. And some people are like, well, why don't you just put out all the videos at the same time so everybody can see them? Um, well, we have like a, a, you know, a schedule, you know, because if we put them all out at once, then you won't have the ability to watch one next week and the next week. And some people are like, oh, yeah, I haven't seen a video from you in forever. I'm like, we put out a video every single Friday at 6 a.m. on YouTube and 6 a.m. on Saturdays on Facebook. So I don't know why people give me those comments sometimes. Yeah. Uh, June Trees, <laughs> thank you for becoming a gear sponsor. Thank you very much. Uh, and is it Dave, 091102? I think what you do is fantastic. You guys are awesome. You do a truly great job. Much respect from England. Thank you very much, Dave. People, uh, you know, this is a movement around the world. And we thank you for Global. that. Yes. Maybe, maybe one day we'll be searching in England. You know, when the world opens up again, we do have plans to go help out down under Dan, diving. Australia? Uh, in Australia. So we're yep. going to head down there with him. He's got a couple of vehicles with potentials. Um, he's got a set of, set of lift bags also that we donated to him because of you guys being able to help us out. So thank you for that. Um, we do have some, speaking of giving back as well, on the merchandise store not just you know some shirts and stuff like that but we also have some very limited edition bmw and rx7 coins the rx7 coins i think we only have like 20 of those left once they're gone they're gone we melted them down from an rx7 that we pulled out of the Tualatin river also the bmw don't text and drive mm -hmm. coins are also over there i think we have about 120 of those are left right now as well uh, that's just our way of saying thank you it gives you a little soup in there momento and our way of saying thanks and giving back and some people are like, yeah, why do I want to buy that? I'm like, well, you don't have to. Just it's all don't. about support. It's yes. all about support. If you want to support, support. We thank uh, you for that. Stephanie Bauer, thank you very much for becoming part of the team. You're a new member. Yeah. Um, on that, we have the boat. I want to teach you how to use the sonar today. So that way, when we do get the other boat outfitted with sonar, then we have the ability to run two boats and run you'll two be, boats, be a little enough. bit more efficient, a lot more efficient running two boats with sonar. I mean, everything that's been done right now here, 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 mostly is or has been done with the amazing adventures with purpose boat with the sonar fixed to it and the plan to become more efficient and to be more accurate is to outfit that boat as well with sonar. So just to give you guys an idea of what we actually have on here, the audio might be too far away. You know, we're running the uh, Garmin unit. This is an 8612 is what this one is. Uh, this one we're running with life scope. So this unit right here is $4,000. The life scope that goes with it, which is this little unit here with a black box is another 1500. The Hummingbird is another 3,500, I believe is what that one is with the 360 over there as well as another 15 so it quickly adds up anything you guys can do if you if you have like an extra one float, floating around as well send it our way as well you know if you're not using it um, this is what this is what allows us to go out there to be efficient you've seen us go head to head with law enforcement with their half a million dollars in equipment and us with our you know 12 to 15 thousand dollar setup and we're just knocking it out of the park and just being efficient in what we do, knowing how to use our equipment, but really pinpointing it as well. And I was having a, a conversation with uh, Dennis Waters uh, just a couple days ago. He's like, hey, Jared, you know, uh, Texas Echo Search is actually selling their boat, and, you know, you should raise some funds to get it, and it comes with, you know, a winch for, you know, the towing and stuff like that. And I started thinking about it. I'm like, look, we're completely full in the trailer. We've just become so fine-tuned and what our niche actually is, is that while I would love to be like, yes, let's get our, ourselves a big dive boat, just two days ago, we did make the decision not to spend any funds on getting a dive boat because that means additional insurance. Now we got to get a second vehicle to tow it and it just becomes, we want to be very efficient in everything we're doing and honor your support and everything we're doing. So thank you for that. I think that's a good place to end it, Doug. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll end it together. I don't need to talk. I've done enough talking. All right. Thank you guys for uh, watching this, for being a part of it. Thank you. Hold on. Let's let's oh, more, shout more, out more. to more Stephanie. We we left off with Stephanie. If we, if we missed anybody, we apologize, uh, and we do hope that there's going to be a lot more of you that do become members. What as life, well. North Carolina? Thank you for coming. An air sponsor. 
Donna Lee Stewart, you're a gear sponsor. Thank you so much. Uh, Don Reed, new member, part of the team now. Thank you so much for joining. Um, like I've been saying several times before, just watching, subscribing, liking. I think we should do this real quick. Also, since I have new hats coming, before we go, before we go, we have new hats that are coming. So I think we should give away two hats. One is we should give away one of the new hats and we should also give away this hat that I'm going to retire Ooh. after today. Because that, hat, that hat is epic. Yes, you'll get the pins on it and you'll get, you know, you'll get this hat with the pins. What should we do? We should have a little quiz. The quiz for the first one. So we'll do the quiz for the new search team hat. And I'm going to say, I don't even remember that one. I do remember. No, I don't remember. I was, I was gonna I don't say, know. I, 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 I was that's gonna, all in your head, buddy. I know. I, I, was, I was gonna say, like, what was the color of the first car that we ever pulled? I think I know. Do you know? Uh, I, I, I think so, yeah. yeah. Did James know? Or did we end up with a different car? James was there on the first car. You were there on the first car, right? The very first car? But l let me make sure I get this right. Yep. From what I remember, yeah. Okay. Okay. So we, we, the three of us are in agreement that we know what it was. And so, uh, and so I want to know the color and the model of what it was. So the first person to guess the color and model of the very first car that we pulled out here in the Portland area. We'll get this hat. We'll get this hat. So color uh -oh. and model. Oh, no, 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 that, no, no, that was that, close. That, that was close. Oh. So we got so we got some we got some guesses that are uh, some people oh. have guessed the model but not the right color with it. Some people have guessed the right color but not the right model. They're, they're getting close. They are getting close. No, it wasn't the black Jag. The Jaguar was, no, um, we had a, a green Ford, Jag and we had a red a Toyota. Red Jag. But there we oh, go. There oh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Seth, Seth Holt. Holt. Seth Holt got it. It's the red Honda. All right. Absolutely right. So Seth Holt, send me a email with your shipping information and you will get this hat. And let me know in the email too. Would you like me to sign the hat? I'll sign it on the underneath side for you if you'd like. Um, the second one, how about I, I put a number in my phone on my end. Okay. One to 200. Okay. And the person to guess the number closest to my number on my phone without going over wins. No, no. They have to get the number exact. The then number we, exact. Then we, then we, okay. Then, how many people then, do we have on we can, here? Yeah. Uh, we have 1300 people. So let's you do know that. What? Yeah. You have 1300 people on here. So you want you put a number between one and 1300 and then we can play the higher low game. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm putting a number in right now on my phone, and it's going to be, all right. Oh, that's a good number. That is a great number. All right. All right. Here we go. Um, so here we go. The first person to guess this number. We'll get the new, we'll get never, the new never before seen. Search team hat. 3D raised embroidery. Okay, Forgot number, one numbers. Between are, one and 1300. Oh, Birdie was was close. Oh, you're giving it up. Oh, uh, I, I, I'm not really giving it up. I mean, they, they were like 666. I'm like, oh, that's, uh, no, we, we would never choose that number. No, no, yeah. no. Yeah, no. 420, not it. Oh, that was a close guess also. Tanya, Daddy guessed really close at 654, 698. Oh, close. Oh, that is hot. Very Ooh, hot. a 969. Whoa, yeah. yeah, you're cold on that one. All right. Low, lower. 674. Higher. Higher than 674. Higher. Lower than 777. Come on, guys. You're going to get it. 657, 685. Woo, you guys are so close. 678. Uh-oh. Si oh, Sandy Floyd. Sandy got it. Sandy Floyd. Here we go. Sandy says 669 right there. Sandy Floyd, send me an email with your... Um, mailing address. Good job, Sandy. And we'll get you a, a hat out. So thank you very much. On that Should note, we have a like spike real quick? Well, yeah, okay. Let's do a like spike. I feel like we keep trying to get you out on the water and you just don't I, want to go I, I, I know, I know. Well, then, then this is okay. for the viewers. Let's get the like spike in. All right. So on the count of four, yeah, on the count of four, like who does that? We're going to do a like spike. 
One. So g g get ready to hit the like button. One, two, three. Like spike. Everybody hit the put, like put, button. Get it to 2,000. Get it. Get us to 2,000 likes. So right now we're at 1,200. Hit the like button. It's not moving. Oh, 1,300. Oh, 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 it's, it's moving. moving. All right. It's can, moving. Can we get it to to a to, uh, 2,000? I, I think we'll get it to 2,000. All right. 1,400. And... Is it going to hit 15? Oh, uh, so it's so close gonna... to 15. Is it going to get to two? Oh, wait, wait. We also have one more thing also. Doug, you keep delaying everything. You oh, I do. Me. Now you're doing it. I know. It's fine. Go ahead. What do you got? What do you got? Right. What do you got going uh, while, on? While we have the like spike going on, the very last thing is let's also help Doug out with his YouTube channel, which is, Doug, you had towing with purpose for yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. You've decided to change yeah. it for the time being. So it's my name, Doug Bishop. If the mods are in here right now, which they are, drop a link to my channel. You guys can check it out. Um, in fact, let, let me see your phone right now. We're planning a lot of great content. But bring, bring your channel up right now. I want to see how many subscribers you have. Yeah, so tell, okay. so tell them about your latest video you did on uh, Portland. Okay, yeah, so the, the most recent video that I did um, about Portland is just uh, an, an attempt to bring more awareness to what's going on here in the city um you know it wasn't it was it was pretty it was tasteful as i could make it it's it's not a uh easy subject to even talk about or even do a video on so uh, i tried to do it as level-headed as i could without making any particular side look bad but there's a lot of awareness that needs to be brought to the city of portland so that we can clean some of the stuff up and get the people the help that they need so check that video out it's a pretty cool video um, hopefully it brings a lot of awareness and cause of change. Actually, as soon as I released that video, the news crew here did a whole week series on the same issue. So I think I kind of initiated that. It's pretty cool. And so right now, Doug is at 6,030 subscribers. Let's get him to 6,500 subscribers real quick. So you guys were incredible with the like spike. Let's get him to uh, uh, 6,500 subscribers. Like right now, go to his mods, drop a link, and it's also in the description down below. Just go to his channel. Let's get him to 6,500 subscribers right now, and then, and then I'll let you go on the water. If we don't, thank you. Please subscribe to my channel. If we don't, a lot of great content's gonna be on there. We'll even be doing live, um, live videos here and there behind the scenes. You'll be able to see a lot of good stuff. Thank we, you guys a if, lot. If we don't get you to 6,500, you can't go on the boat today. No. All right, you guys got to get me to 6,500. So Victor says that he just subbed. All right, let's refresh this and see if uh, Victor's telling the truth. All right, you picked up 40 subscribers. Nice, nice. So we need another 430 subscribers. Day and night is here. Yeah. So my buddy John here. So, so, day and night. So I want to talk about. So I want to talk about the ben not the benefits, but the um, gratitude yeah. that we have for tow truck drivers. Yeah, this is this is kind of all star. You don't mind being on camera, do you? Um, all right. Okay, um, yeah, so... We, we have a minor. As, as yeah. you guys know, my history <laughs> with elite towing, um, you know, we pulled out over 30 cars here locally in this area. And if you guys know, it's kind of where all of this kind of evolved from, pulling cars out of the river. And then it led to, it's just a snowball effect of where it's led to. So having the help from towing companies is pivotal. No matter where AWP goes, whether it's Tennessee, Georgia, Texas, and we find cars we're always going to need the assistance of a towing company to help get those cars out of the water so it's, it's imperative you guys that are involved in towing that are watching this you know reach out let us know that you're willing to help when we come to your city it's it's, it's amazing to have that support yeah and so yeah so dude write to us support at adventureofthepurpose.com let us know where you're at if you're a tow truck driver so we can get you on the map yep. and uh I'm guessing that uh, day and night is there for us to uh, anytime we need you, right? All right I won't. I will show the minor, but uh, here we go. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. John's a great guy. John's a good guy. Uh, how you doing, John? Thanks for coming out. Thank you, uh, yeah, I met one of your uh, one of your guys before. You guys helped us out. Uh, on, I can't remember which one we did. We were over at Oak Grove. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I believe that was uh, my driver's stop. Yeah. yeah. Was that Tim? Well, that one turned that one turned into like a cluster bomb for us. State police. Because. Yeah. Yeah, they were. Yeah, because the law enforcement was supposed to take care of our needs on that one. Then it became a not so much, and so anyway, in the end, it worked out for us. That's why you were not on that one, Doug. Yeah, 
So otherwise, I would. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, in that scenario, the law enforcement is going to take over the whole scene. Yeah. So we appreciate you and your company and yeah. all, all tow companies across the entire U.S., everyone that's helped us so far. So Go check them out. Day and night towing, local here in Clackamas County. Leave them a good review. Check them out. If you're here local, use them. They're a great company. Yeah. We promote everybody. Yeah. You know, everybody's... That's what it's all about, helping each other out. Yep. Um, let's see. I'm looking for... Let me see your uh, phone real quick. Are we increased in subs yet for you? Because I'm not letting you in the boat unless we hit 6,500. All right, so we've packed on, so we're at 6,200 almost. We need 300 more subscribers. All right. See you later. Thanks for coming down. 300 more subscribers. We'll let Doug go in the boat and do some scanning today. We're going to teach them all about it. All right, Donna. more. Come on, guys. Donna, Donna do says it. done. I subscribed to Doug today. I think that by the end of the day, you'll get it. Yeah, yeah, we'll get it. Thank yeah, you, guys. All right, yes. I really appreciate it. So, on that note. Oh. No All right, All right. On that note, later, later. I have the later, later shirts coming out soon. We have the search team hats. Check out adventuresofpurpose.com for all your merch needs because it helps us out. That's why we're out here. Thank you very much. Later, later. Bye-bye. Oh, now I got to figure out how to turn this off. <laughs> Bye.